the afternoon sun is rather mild it's winter it's an exciting time for us it's exciting because it brings us relief from the nasty summer heat and humidity and troublesome rains it's the only time of the year when the weather is pleasant i live in mumbai in india it was the 8th of november in 2017 I was on a boat photographing birds. Between November and March, we see over 200 species of birds on and around this lake near Pune, which is about 150 kilometers away from Mumbai. That's about 93 miles. The monsoons had lingered on till the end of October. The lake was brimming with bright blue water, and bright green water plants appeared to be glowing. in the glorious evening light there were lots of dragonflies i found that very surprising that a small creature like dragonflies were able to cover such large distances we continued towards a flock of whiskered terns when suddenly something long and slim popped its head out of the water it was a snake not just any snake the most venomous snake in the world the russell's viper one of the five most venomous snakes that russell's viper better not get into our boat it kept popping its head right out of the water looking at the dragonflies sometimes playfully sometimes lustfully the dragonflies too seem to fancy the russell's viper They didn't. They didn't appear to be a match made in heaven. What's the most unusual combination of animals that you've seen together? I'd like to know. Tell me about it in the comments. I had never seen a Russell's viper before, and I didn't know that they could swim. The dragonflies appear towards the end of the monsoon, October, November. Their numbers reduce thereafter. but why because where there's prey there are predators blue cheek bee eaters blue cheek bee eaters show up during this time of the year to feast on these dragonflies now every time i go here i keep a lookout for snakes hoping that i see this russell's viper again 3 years have passed and this is the only other snake i have seen What are the thoughts running in your mind right now? I'd like to know. Please tell us in the comments below and subscribe to my channel. I'm Girish Menon and I invite you to experience people, places, nature and food through photography. Tell stories and inspire your friends. I facilitate one-to-one -one photography courses online. I will show you how to make the most of your camera. so that you can shoot sharp photos and that's one of the biggest pain points for beginners getting sharp photos especially in low light and create powerful photos what that means is to be able to arrange the elements in the frame in a manner that's easy to understand so come meditate create communicate see what it's like